Sometimes when I get into this single leg attack and uh, I, I start to uh, react on his reactions, looking to turn the corner low, he's gonna stuff my head and square to face me. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna try to come up from between his legs just like I did here. Now there's a couple important details. Let me rewind a little bit. When I get right to this point, I'm gonna have to plant my hand, give myself a little bit of uh, balance. My hand on the leg is actually gonna slide up a little bit, higher up on the hamstring to give a little more control. And sometimes I have to knee slide a little bit to get in position. My head comes in between the legs and then I kind of do like a bit of a spring motion to bring him up. When we get to this position, we're not there yet, but we're in, we're in a little bit more control. Um, there's lots and lots we could do from this position. I'm gonna go with a basic thing that we like to do. Uh, it's a little bit different, but the key is, I want to pick a side that I'm going to, and I wanna clear his leg off my shoulder on that side. So I have a good grip on this leg, so I'm gonna go to this side. Um, the first thing that I do is I'm gonna come across and try to find his ankle, and instead of just bringing that straight down, I'm gonna try to bring that ankle to my chest. Okay. When I do that, I start to feel him slide off my shoulder already. And so I'm gonna, at that point, let go of that leg and rotate my hand to my heart. If I hit here and he goes down before I do, I have won, I'm gonna win the position. Okay. So I have my hand on my heart to clear that hand um, from his body. And now I'm gonna crash into him, plant this hand far side. And at this point, there's lots of ways to finish. We're gonna go over a really just the basic finish. Step hook, rotate my knees. I'm just gonna rotate you a little bit. And then right here, I, I could even finish with him on his back, but for, for today, I'm just gonna cover and have my two-point takedown. 